Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PlayStation 2 emulation and Nintendo Switch emulation. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Ryu Jinx. Ryu Jinx has just released a brand new progress report, and holy smokes has this emulator improved. Now there's a ton of information in this report and I'm going over it at a high level. If you want to check it out in more detail, I'll leave a link in the description below, and I do recommend checking it out. It is very well written. If some of this stuff does sound familiar, it's because we've talked about it in previous videos. This article does a great job at summing everything up. One thing to take note of here, Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes, both the demo and full game, ran flawlessly on day one. It's playable in Ryujinx. Moving to their Patreon goals here, and their Vulcan GPU backend is available, but it's still in progress. So if you want to check out a public test build, there is a link right in this report. The goal for ARB shaders was reached, and it's currently in progress. As for the rest of the goals here, they start at $2,000 a month, and Ryu Jinx is just over 1600, so they're getting there. Moving on to improvements now, and the very first thing listed is incredibly interesting. It's under GPU and it has to deal with Skyline, the Switch emulator on Android. Bylaws, one of the developers of that emulator, has been helping out the Ryu Jinx team. There are a bunch of improvements here, including Skyrim, which now boots. Now this improvement also helps out games like Monstrum Nox and Twisted Dreams. With Monstrum Nox, it took someone five hours to get into game. And this improvement significantly reduces that time. Moving on from that, and a game called Genkai Toki Moro Crystal H is now a little bit more playable. This is the before and this is the after. If you're a fan of visual novels, like loopers, sometimes the background was upside down and now that should be fixed. It looks a heck of a lot better. Super Mario Strikers now has a crowd. There has also been a bit of a performance improvement to games like Super Mario Odyssey and Xenoblade Chronicles. And that's all thanks to optimized texture binding and shader specialization checks. SMO went from 66 frames a second to 72, and Xenoblade went from 32 to 44. Both of those are pretty big FPS jumps. Now in terms of Vulkan, if you've got an Nvidia GPU, chances are you've got a pretty darn good experience with Ryu Jinx. However, with AMD and Intel, things have been a bit painful in the past, but they are getting better. Here's Pokemon Sword and Shield with an AMD GPU, and yeah, it's looking good. Here is Mario Kart 8 with an AMD GPU, and here is Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is before, and well, this is after. It's rendering a heck of a lot better. Month over month, Ryu Jinx is getting better and better. The development team is amazing here, and if you're wondering what emulator to use for Switch games on PC, whether it's Yuzu or Ryu Jinx, my answer here is use both of them. They're both absolutely free. And speaking about great emulators that are also free, next up here we're talking about PS2 emulation on Android with Aether SX2. Aether SX2 just got a brand new update on the Google Play Store. This new version of Aether SX2 is version 1.1-2468 and it combines the best of a bunch of things we've talked about in previous videos. If you want to read the entire change log, which I do recommend checking out, I'll leave a link to the Patreon page in the description below. Full details are there. One huge thing to point out here is that Aether SX2 is no longer considered early access. It's now in prime time. One of the big benefits to this is if you head on over to the Aether SX2 Google Play Store page, scroll down just a little bit, you can sign up to become a beta tester. You won't be getting the latest stable release, you'll be getting the latest testing release and that may include some performance improvements that you've been looking for. A really cool new feature added is touchscreen swipe bindings, so you can use touchscreen movements to control things, and it's completely customizable. The controller dead zone setting is now available, and you can tinker around with it on a per controller basis. On top of that, they've upped the default sensitivity to 133%, which should be good for most games. Multi-tap has been added, so if you want to play a game with Possibly up to 8 people, Aether SX2 now technically supports it. There's a new pressure modifier button which is awesome for touchscreen controls. For example, games that require a soft 
press. Well, you can now do a soft press with touchscreen controls. If you're using widescreen patches on games, Aether SX2 will automatically switch to 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is a nice quality of life improvement. There have also been a bunch of micro optimizations, which has led to a arguably big performance boost, up to 5 to 10 percent, depending on game and device. If your device is severely outdated or underpowered, Aether SX2 is incredibly demanding and you might not necessarily see the boost you're looking for. Thanks to PCSX2, now Lot CRT TV shader is available in Aether SX2. On top of all of that, this new version also brings about some bug fixes and some more minor improvements. And I find Aether SX2 fascinating for an emulator that's already kind of optimized very well. It keeps getting better and better. If you haven't checked out Aether SX2 already, I highly recommend checking out this PS2 emulator. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Ryu Jinx or Aether SX2. On top of that, I want to say a massive shout out to all of you. Absolutely anyone who has ever stopped by my channel to watch a video, leave a like, leave a comment, or most importantly, subscribe. We just hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel. So cheers and a massive thank you to you. Onwards and upwards. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.